Is there more to the Virgin Mary's birth than we're told? What you haven't heard might surprise you. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. The birth of the Virgin Mary is a moment shrouded in grace, celebrated across the Catholic Church as the dawn of a new era in salvation history. While the Bible does not provide a detailed account of her birth, Catholic tradition holds that Mary was born to Joachim and Anne, a devout Jewish couple who, despite their advanced age, were blessed with a child destined to change the world. This event is far more than a story of miraculous birth. It marks the beginning of God's divine plan to bring salvation to humanity through Jesus Christ. The Tradition of Mary's Birth In Catholic tradition, Mary's birth is viewed as a pivotal moment in salvation history. The Church Fathers often spoke of her birth as the moment when God's plan for the redemption of humanity began to unfold. According to tradition, Joachim and Anne, who were faithful and devout but childless, were graced by God with a daughter. This daughter, Mary, was born without original sin, a privilege granted to her in preparation for her role as the mother of Jesus. The Protoevangelium of James, a second-century Christian text, offers a detailed narrative of Mary's birth and early life. Although this text is not part of the canonical scriptures, it has significantly shaped the Church's understanding of Mary's early years. It describes Mary as a child dedicated to God, growing in wisdom and holiness within the temple. This narrative underscores the belief that Mary was uniquely prepared by God for her role as the mother of the Savior. Biblical References and the Role of Mary While the Bible does not directly recount the birth of Mary, it does contain prophecies and references that highlight her importance in God's plan. The prophet Isaiah foretold, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. Isaiah 7.14 This prophecy is seen as pointing to Mary, the virgin who would bear the Son of God. In the New Testament, the angel Gabriel's greeting to Mary during the Annunciation also reflects her unique status. Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Luke 1, 28. This greeting acknowledges Mary's singular role in salvation history, chosen and graced by God from the moment of her conception. Furthermore, during Jesus' crucifixion, he spoke to his mother and the beloved disciple, Woman, behold your son, behold your mother, John 19, 26 to 27. This moment is often interpreted as Jesus entrusting Mary to all of his followers, symbolized by John. It is a testament to the deep bond between Jesus and Mary, and a call for Christians to recognize Mary as their spiritual mother. Apparitions and Saints' Reflections Marian apparitions throughout history have reinforced the importance of Mary in the life of the Church. At Lourdes, Mary identified herself as the Immaculate Conception, affirming the Church's teaching that she was conceived without original sin. This doctrine highlights the significance of her birth, foreordained by God as part of His salvific plan. Saints have also reflected deeply on the meaning of Mary's birth. St. Alphonsus Liguori noted, Mary was the first and the most perfect disciple of Christ. She was the first who practiced his doctrines and the most faithful in putting them into practice. This reflection underscores that Mary's birth was the beginning of a life entirely dedicated to God's will, a model of faith for all Christians. St. Bernard of Clairvaux famously stated, it is not possible to honor her too much for she was the means of our redemption. His words capture the profound reverence the Church holds for Mary and her unique role in the redemption of humanity. The Birth of Mary, A Call to Devotion The birth of the Virgin Mary is not merely a historical event, it is a call to deepen our devotion to her. 
Her birth marks the beginning of the fulfillment of God's promise to bring salvation to the world. Mary's life is a testament to the power of faith, obedience, and love, virtues that every Christian is called to emulate. In the apparitions at Fatima, Mary urged the faithful to pray the rosary and to consecrate themselves to her immaculate heart. These messages emphasize the power of her intercession and the importance of seeking her guidance in our spiritual journey. As we reflect on the birth of the Virgin Mary, let us be inspired to honor her with the reverence she deserves. Let us seek her intercession with confidence, knowing that as our spiritual mother, she is always ready to lead us closer to her son, Jesus Christ. As St. Louis de Montfort encouraged, to Jesus through Mary, a path that begins with recognizing the grace and hope ushered in by her birth. Through Virgin Mary's intercession, may God bless us and break every yoke of Satan and his agents in our lives and family. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.